Buckle up, yo. This is just the right amount of redneck. I hope you like it. I am installing <laughs> a theater inside my Ford Ranger. We are on our way to the hardware store to get some spray paint. More about those real people. Who are we going to hear from in this show? It's people who are into BDSM and it also happened to be in their 70s. And it's people who are prudes and identifying what? as prudes and saying like, sex is really not a focal point of my life, who are in their- Yo, this life. is CBC radio. What is going on? I think most of the show is really about that. Wow, I thought CBC was family friendly, but um, wow. All right, so we have what we came in for. This matte white spray paint is what we're actually after. We're putting a theater system in the back of a Ford Ranger. That might be a bit of a misnomer, but we are actually putting in a projector. Uh, we're going to make the screen for it. We're putting in this tiny little projector that's honestly about the size of like one of those portable batteries for your, uh, like to recharge your cell phone. It just goes on a small tripod, the same tripod I use for my light stand, which I'm probably not using the light and the projector at the same time, so it doesn't matter if they both use that. And then for stereo, we're using a Bose Bluetooth speaker. We are back home. We are going to go get the tarp or some newspaper or something, go paint us a screen. All right. All right, we are just going to grab the biggest and most square. So let's take them all out. Let's take them all out. Okay, so they're all fucked. Sounds about right for my handy handiwork. Alright. I almost just slammed the tailgate on my Oh my god, my phone, Jesus. Alrighty, so it is the next day and we have our plywood. It's not perfect, but we get 80% of the way there with 20% of the effort. So I say, fuck it, let's just go. So here's the white panel inside the camper. We pretty much just have to wait for it to get dark, download a movie and then See how it works. I think that's going to be a big improvement over the previous darker and less effective screen we were projecting on of the unpainted wood. I think that is going to make it look real nice. It's finally dark enough. Our projector screen has finally dried, so I'm just going to tell you how to set up your iPad if you're using one. If you're using any sort of other device, then you probably can figure out how to put this together, but there's a certain trick if you're using an iPad um, to get the Bluetooth speaker to work instead of the speaker on the projector. So this is mini HDMI to regular sized HDMI adapter, which goes in here. The battery in the projector actually lasts about an hour. It does plug in, and when it's plugged in, it uses 8 watts at 5 volts. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can make some sort of connector to run this off of just a portable battery bank because a battery bank this size that's actually bigger than the projector itself will probably be able to run it for several hours. So, and it would save me from having to run a cable across my lap to my power inverter, but I do have just a 120 volt power inverter ready to go for when I need it. 
use Netflix because their app lets you download stuff for offline viewing. So let's just throw in some Archer. And what we're gonna do is you're going to actually plug in the projector using a USB-C to HDMI. And then you're gonna set your projector to use the uh, HDMI. So this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like throughout the projector. But if you actually um, were to go into your iPad, close it, and then what you do, make sure AirPlay is enabled and you're already connected to your Bluetooth speaker. Three, so, medium. Connected to Foxy's iPad. Pro what you're gonna have to do is you're going to close the iPad. It's actually still gonna show up as playing and it's going to try and default to audio through the HDMI. So what you do is you click the AirPlay system button once you're already hooked into your Bluetooth and you just click the Bluetooth. There we go. And now if we hit play, Coleslaw. There we go. And or an explanation of why that's funny. Now, unfortunately, you can't really use the iPad for much else while Close. you're using it for yeah. the projector. Thanks for so it is nice to have a second. Uh, Especially now that it is nice to have a second device. So I have my phone as well as my older phone. Um, if you're going to do this, maybe consider using like a dedicated older phone that you can just load up with some movies and then just plug into the projector and that way you still have your tablet for personal use. But overall, it's actually, it's quite a decent image. It's nice and bright. It's two feet wide on the horizontal. So I don't know quite what height it is or, or diagonal, but it's um, longer than 24 inches. So as, and I'm only six feet away. Um, so it ends up actually, especially in the, if we turn off the lights, it's actually not that bad. Not bad at all. Nice sound system through the Bluetooth speaker. And this truck just off the one battery will be able to power this for, for days on end, right? So, and especially if it's warm enough, you don't need the heated blanket. Then really all you have to do for this like 105 amp hour battery is you can charge your laptop and your projector and any other devices like basically for a week straight. If you gotta use it for heating, it will drain in just one day. And so hopefully some solar will be my next project. But I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video of the Redneck Plywood TV. I'm gonna watch some Archer, maybe eat some Cheetos, and y'all have a good night, right?